Today is August the 17th, and this day, like every day, we are on a journey. In this podcast, we will include readings of scripture, meditation, silence, and prayer. Our readings come from the Revised Common Lectionary. We begin our reading in Psalm 32, then we go to Jeremiah 25, verses 30 through 38, and we finish in Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 45 through 48. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 32, a Psalm of David. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me, My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best paths for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit or bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure. Jeremiah 25 Now prophesy all these things and say to them, The Lord will roar against his own land from his holy dwelling in heaven. He will shout like those who tread grapes. He will shout against everyone on earth. His cry of judgment will reach the ends of the earth, for the Lord will bring his case against all the nations. He will judge all the people of the earth, slaughtering the wicked with the sword. I, the Lord, have spoken. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Look, disaster will fall upon nation after nation. A great whirlwind of fury is rising from the most distant corners of the earth. In that day, those the Lord has slaughtered will fill the earth from one end to the other. No one will mourn for them or gather up their bodies to burn them. They will be scattered on the ground like manure. Weep and moan, you evil shepherds. Roll in the dust, you leaders of the flock. The time of your slaughter has arrived. You will fall and shatter like a fragile vase. You will find no place to hide. There will be no way to escape. Listen to the frantic cries of the shepherds. The leaders of the flock are wailing in despair, for the Lord is ruining their pastures. Peaceful meadows will be turned into wastelands by the Lord's fierce anger. He has left his den like a strong lion seeking its prey, and their land will be made desolate by the sword of the enemy and the Lord's fierce anger. Luke 19 Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. He said to them, The scriptures declare my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. After that, he taught daily in the temple, but the leading priests and the teachers of religious law and the leaders of the people began planning how to kill him. But they could think of nothing, because all the people hung on every word he said. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Praise to you, Lord Christ. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection.
Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Lord, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive. It is in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are being born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us for tomorrow's podcast. We meet each and every day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we go through the entire Bible over the course of a year. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. Today's music was provided by the artist and composer, David Neveu. Find out more about his music at davidneveu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this.